I've already made a video on Goldman Sachs where I've talked about the entire process from the aptitude test to the learning module to interviews. But in this video, we're going to specifically talk about the aptitude round. That is the gateway to the entire process. Most of the candidates are rejected in this round approximately if you talk about the total applicant pool. So around 90% applicants are removed in this aptitude round. So this round is something that is very critical and important. So make sure you do check out this video till the end. We'll talk about which all topics of aptitude do they bring in their test. Uh, in the previous editions they have brought into and how can you prepare for those topics what all things you need to keep in mind while attempting this test so make sure you watch this video till the end and do share it with your friends for more such amazing videos the like target of this video is let's say 1.5 likes if we get that 1.5 likes i'll come up with the separate video for interview preparation of goldman sachs so make sure you do hit that like button this test pattern is something like this there'll be 66 questions out of those 66 questions you need to solve them in one hour 30 minutes there'll be topics different topics first topic is like let's say aptitude reasoning english abstracts non-verbal uh, reasoning and quantitative aptitude so these are the sections these are the topics that you will be having in this particular test we'll also bifurcate them on the basis of which section will be having which questions this these are as per previous editions of goldman sachs engineering campus signing program so tentatively this is the pattern they, that they might follow so numerical competition there'll be eight questions uh it's an important section and it's a little critical and tough section numerical reasoning is also a little bit tough then there's logical reasoning abstract reasoning diagrammatic reasoning and verbal reasoning so all these sections are present in this uh, exam when I talk about the difficulty level, so difficulty level of numerical computation, numerical reasoning is higher as compared to any other rounds. Abstract reasoning, logical reasoning, diagrammatic reasoning and verbal reasoning are comparatively easier. So make sure like try attempting the easier parts first, then go for the harder part because easier questions you can complete on time. And the major thing here is time management only in 1.5 hours, you need to solve 66 questions. So as many as questions that you give as correct uh, will be marked for positive points. So let's see what's the scoring criteria. So scoring criteria for this test is going to be plus five for correct answer minus two for incorrect answers. So you need to solve the easier sections first. You don't uh, need to solve all the problems, but yes, at max, uh, how many problems you can solve and in the least time possible. So major topics if I talk about this first section that is known as numerical computation and reasoning. This is some like the toughest section as I already mentioned, you'll have questions from quadratic equations, profit and loss, probability, geometry, mathematical computations. And each question requires you to understand the question first, then do some mathematical calculations that will take your time. So approximately to solve one particular question, you need to have around five to six minutes at least understand and solve and come up with the correct answer. So this is the most time taking section and the toughest section. Also, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video that is coding ninja coding ninja is india's largest coding education company and they have come up with different kind of courses from basic to advanced java c plus python machine learning every different type of course you can find on the website and these courses are made by some of the best faculties people who have worked in amazon who have worked at stanford university and they have made these courses extensively for you the one-to-one -one doubt support system is something that is the biggest feature you can resolve your doubts within some minutes if you are having a problem throughout their course so that teaching assistant support is always available you can check out they have different courses available many of the students have been placed at companies like google like microsoft adobe walmart and they have all the courses listed here you can check out their website and now they're currently running a special offer in which you can get 35 percent early bird discount over and above 20 percent discount that is already running so that overall discount comes out to be 55 percent i'll write the link in the description if you're looking forward to purchase any of the courses from coding ninjas you can check that link out for exclusive 55 percent discount now let's move on to the video so this can be avoided in the beginning this can be attempted at the end if you have time right then there's abstract reasoning uh, section in which you'll have be having english comprehension 10 questions and two abstracts you'll be having two comprehensions which you need to uh, understand and answer the questions so first thing here is you need to read the questions once before reading the passage so that you can understand which part of the passage that question has been picked from rather than just reading that passage and then going to the questions then you need to uh, come to the passage again and again and that will waste your time Passages are not very typical, they are easier. Uh, so make sure you do attempt them carefully uh, so that so as to avoid any silly mistakes. Next section is logical reasoning. If I talk about logical reasoning, so there are 
questions like this is the easiest section i would say and you can score the most questions are easy questions are less time taking if you know the question you can solve it within 50 seconds to 60 seconds uh, questions are like series completion let's say there are five numbers given and what would be the sixth number they'll be following some pattern and you need to understand what is the pattern and how you can get that next number then there's directions and tests that like let's say somebody is moving in the east direction then he suddenly moves to the west then he moves to the north then he comes back circle back to the same point how much distance is he away from uh, some certain point so this is something that is direction sense test. then there's blood relations uh, that topic is focused uh, along with that mirror images you will be having in this section uh, you are given a mirror image of something and you need to tell what would be the adjacent mirror image right so this is more scoring section so you can focus on this section then there is diagrammatic reasoning when i say diagrammatic reasoning so uh, you'll have some new patterns it is like they devise some new patterns it is again bit time consuming because you need to understand the patterns and what uh, next pattern would follow or let's say there's an analogy two patterns are related to each other in some way third pattern is given how what would be the fourth pattern looking like so there'll be ratio proportion thing in uh, these diagrammatic questions around 10 questions are there in this section also but this section is easy but yet time consuming next there's verbal reasoning section in which you'll have data interpretation puzzles three to four questions based upon one puzzle and pie charts or graph based questions in which you need to analyze some data and you need to come up with the answers so my there might be a case study in which let's say there's some dispute between uh, two groups of people uh, somebody saying this somebody saying this you'll have some pie chart based upon their opinions and you need to solve questions then there is let's say a puzzle type questions in uh, Generally, a seating arrangement question is asked in which, let's say, a group of friends is sitting around in a circle and they are discussing something. You need to tell whose position is where. So these kind of questions are asked in this verbal reasoning section. Then there are simple puzzles. So this can also be a scoring section. This is towards the end of this exam, but uh, you get very less time to attempt it. So make sure you can attempt this uh, section earlier as compared to any other section. So this is also scoring, but yet it is a little bit of trick. I said sources to prepare for this aptitude test. Firstly, if you talk about uh, the level of aptitude, I would say it would be medium to hard. The questions are similar to that you are expecting in CAT examination that is common admission test for MBAs. So the level is almost similar, right? You'll have, uh, you can have some questions based on India, BIX, the topic wise questions that I have mentioned. So you can type it down. Like if you want to solve questions from series completion or numerical reasoning or uh, quantitative aptitude, profit and loss probability. So you can type it down and you will have some questions a list from that and you can practice secondly uh, there's a youtube channel known as uncode that is also something that you can try for aptitude preparation there are books like rs agrawal if somebody likes to prepare from books you can definitely check this out i have solved this book entirely uh, during my school days and it was something that gave me an introduction to all these aptitude questions and currently also i have, i'll be like i am able to solve these questions very quickly so this is something that is very important reasoning and uh, quantitative aptitude both books are available you can check out if you are are preparing for aptitude particularly this is a very great book so this was all for this particular video i hope you people uh, understood and liked what the type of content i have told about so this was the general aptitude pattern of goldman sachs and after this there'll be certain different rounds i'll talk about all those rounds in the coming sections if you're new to this channel make sure you do hit that subscribe button like this video and do tell your friends and let's help each other see you in some other video till then all the best good luck bye